For quite a long time, Africa remained practically outside the attention of Ukrainian diplomacy. The restart of relations between Kyiv and the countries of the region took place at the end of 2022. Since then, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine, Dmitry Kuleba, has made three tours of African countries. He was able to expand its diplomatic presence in the region, 10 new embassies were opened, and also established supplies of Ukrainian grain to Africa. The previous tours helped to convey our position. They took advantage of the moment when African states were very interested in solving the problems of the food crisis due to the blockade of the Black Sea. This is the end of 2022-2023, and though the results are in principle quite moderate due to the great influence of Russia and its allies, in particular China, on the continent, but we still managed to achieve certain successes. Since Soviet times, Moscow has maintained significant influence on the continent. PMC Wagner militants are active in the countries of Central Africa. They are helping the junta in Mali, Nigeria and Burkina Faso, which came to power after coups. After the West imposed sanctions against Russia, the country began to build up ties with the global south. Anti-Western narratives in African society also play into the hands of the Kremlin. Some countries do not support Ukraine or support the war, not because they are happy about the invasion, thus they express their dissatisfaction with the West, and they see the West and Ukraine as one whole. A deep Sani analyst at the Kofi Annan International Peacekeeping Training Center in a commentary to BBC News Ukraine. However, Malawi, Zambia and Mauritius are less susceptible to Russian influence than other countries on the continent. The countries were former British colonies and now have similar trends in foreign policy. Despite cooperation with China, the countries maintain close contacts with the West. Experts believe that this could become the basis for the active development of relations between Ukraine and Malawi, Zambia and Mauritius. Ukraine will be able to have greater support in the region. There is an opportunity to prevent the spread of Russian influence. And, of course, the economic base, especially with Zambia, whose economy is developing, there is a chance to expand cooperation. It is also adventurous for these countries to show themselves their importance in the world amid Russia's war against Ukraine and to take a better position, establish and maintain relations with the West and its allies. Allies. Let us remind you that Malawi, Zambia and Mauritius have pursued a consistent pro-Ukrainian policy. In February 2023, they were among the few African countries that voted for a resolution in support of Ukraine's territorial integrity. These countries also signed a communique following the peace conference in Switzerland. In addition, together with other African leaders, Zambian President Hakeinda Hichilema visited Ukraine in June 2023 as part of the African Peace Initiative. Reported by Diana Kolesnik and Андрій Дмитренко, UATV News.